Hey, youth grade. So this is the final video for your Simple Machines presentation. And all this time, for the past two weeks, we have been adding pictures. We've been citing evidence. Uh, we've been making sure that we cite our pictures down at the bottom. We've been using quotation marks if we took, if we copied and pasted the information into our slide. And um, for this last part, you should have the last two slides completed. Oh, let me fix this picture for a second. You should have the last two slides completed and everything should be in a font that you like. So for example, I want this font for the rest of my stuff. So I'm gonna highlight a piece of it. I'm gonna come over to Format Painter and then I'm gonna highlight everything that I want that font. And that's how it works. So make sure that you have all of your definitions, you have everything the way you want it to look. Okay. And now the very last piece of this puzzle is to work on your work cited slide. So you should have at least 10 different sources, maybe nine or 10, if you use the same website for two or more simple machines. And um, these are all where you got your, these websites are all where you got your definitions from because your citations for your pictures are on the slide down at the bottom. So picture citations are at the bottom of each slide. Definition citations should have a number in parentheses and that number needs to match the website on your works cited slide. So today what we're gonna do is we're just gonna simply go to Citation Machine We are going to um, create a citation. We want it in MLA format. We want to make sure that it's a website. And here in this keyword spot, I'm going to paste my website. So coming back to my presentation, I'll start with website number one. And I'll highlight it here. And then I'll copy it, Control C, and I'll paste it, Control V. And then I'll search websites. I scroll down. It's going to give me information about reliable sources, but then it's going to show my website here. So select it. And the more reliable your source, the more information will be on it. So I already have a lot of this stuff. So I'm going to go to my final step. And it looks like I'm missing my contributor, and it looks like I'm missing my sponsor so or my uh, publish date so I'm going to come back to my presentation I'm going to um, copy this and put it into I'm going to go back and visit this page this is why it was important for you to put this in your work cited because you're going to have to go back to it and I need to find an author so usually you can find this down at the bottom and let me do this really fast. So it looks like I hide this. It looks like it's 2020 Ask Media Group LLC. So down at the bottom here, I'm going to highlight this. I'm going to control C. I'm going to come back to Citation Machine. The corporation here is the, the Ask Media Group, and then my date is the 2020. So let me cut that out and put it for my time, and that's gonna be by year. And I'm gonna create the citation. And I'll see, I can copy it right here. I can come back to my presentation and I can highlight it here. Do that for the rest of your citations and you'll be good to go.